A lot of times patients will come to see me, especially some of my running patients with a feeling of tightness, maybe a little bit of fatigue, maybe a little bit of pain in what we would call the posterior chain of their lower extremity. The posterior chain of the lower extremity is kind of the glutes, the hamstring is in the calves, and they feel like they just need a little bit of mobility in that area. So these are going to be my four favorite mobility um, exercises for the uh, for the posterior chain of the lower extremity. So the first one I like to have patients try, especially if they're feeling really tight, is just some what we would call nerve flossing. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab your thigh, just hold it there, and then you're just gonna go up and down. Shouldn't feel like you're stretching a ton. It's more just to introduce a little mobility into it. And then if you want to increase the sensation, then you actually take your toe and point it towards your nose like that. So this is the first one and it's called nerve gliding. Second mobility exercise for the posterior chain of the lower extremity, I use a strap. And this is traditionally kind of a hamstring um, stretch, but because you have the strap around your foot, you also get some into your calf too. So with this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie down on your back. You're going to bring both legs up towards the ceiling, and then you're going to push into the strap with one leg as you lower the other leg down. And what you're doing is when you contract your quad on this side, you're actually getting a little bit of neural feedback to the brain to relax the muscles on the antagonist, which would be the hamstring. And that allows it to stretch a little bit better or just provide some mobility that goes all the way from your foot through that kind of sciatic nerve area all the way down to your glutes. Doing about 10 reps of these on both sides would be great. The third mobility exercise for the uh, posterior chain of the lower extremity is something I call the bottoms up mobility exercise or bottoms up stretch. And what's different about this one, instead of stretching from the leg, right, meaning like as if you're leaning forward, stretching your hamstrings in the back of your leg, we're actually going to be doing it from the hip. So what you'll do, and sometimes it depends on how tight you are, whether or not you, the height of the box is well, whether it'll be lower, some people go all the way to ground, some people need to be up high, but you put your hands all the way down on the ground, lock your elbows out, and then you're gonna push your butt up and down. So you're stretching from the hip side, like this, and again, do about 10 reps, and this one works surprisingly well. Now, if you're having a lot of symptoms in your leg all the way down to your calf, more of sciatic symptoms, be careful with this one, but Fourth exercise point. for the posterior chain of the lower extremity is a seated glute stretch. And I like this one because you can do it pretty much anywhere, even if you're at your office, because you're already sitting down. So what you'll do is you'll bring your, for stretching the glute and the uh, tissue and the nerves and stuff on this left side, <clears throat> you put your left ankle onto your right knee. Then all you really have to do to stretch it for most people, just sit up straight, right? If you sit up straight, you're gonna feel that pull right through the glute. And then if you wanna make it modulate a little bit, kind of turn it off and on, you can kind of lean forward and back just like this. And um, I don't really do like a set number with these, just work on it a couple times a day on both sides, obviously, and feel that um, stretch there in your glute. And that's another great Mobility exercise to get some mobility and um, flexibility on that posterior chain of the lower extremity.